Hey, hello, hi, welcome to my space. My name is Eclipse and welcome to part two of this series, how to make a fursona. In today's video, we'll be talking about reference sheets. First of all, I want to say sorry for not uploading for a while. I was very busy with school and my internship, but it's all good now. So let's get right into the video. So what is a reference sheet? When creating a character for a story, comic, movie, or in this case for a furry, you need a reference sheet. This is a sheet on where you display your character's species, design, clothes and accessories, if any. You have many different kinds of reference sheets. I'll be discussing some of them today in this video. I will also talk about bases and how to get them. So without further ado, let's talk about the different types of reference sheets. First, I want to talk about a one-sided reference sheet. It's the simplest one you can have and mostly you can only see the front view of the character on it. On occasion, there might be also be a headshot or some accessories that have been added to the one-sided reference sheet for more detail. An example of a one-sided reference sheet is this one of my character Daikuma. You can see his front view and a close-up headshot for detail on his face. This kind of reference sheet is great for art commissions, but not for fursuit commissions. You would need to have a two or three sided reference sheet for that. Because they'd have to see the front, the back and possibly the side as well. If your character has wings, a huge tail or etc, you will have to add that to your reference sheet as well. The fursuit makers need to be able to see every detail. Eclipse has three different ref sheets. An old one I never use, a big one with a front, back, side view and a headshot and the color of her paws, and a two-sided one with a close-up of her wings. If you have a main OC, it's always good to have more than one reference sheet, so the artist can work off more than one example. The one might be better for the wings and the other one might be better for the markings. I would recommend to go for a two-sided reference sheet as your first. You can see a design and add everything you'd like on the reference sheet and would be able to see their full design. Your character can then also be drawn from different angles, since they know their front and back design. Accessories aren't necessary, but if your character wears clothes, uses weapons or carries something with them at all times, it's best to add that to your reference sheet as well, to avoid confusion. Let's talk about how to make a reference sheet. First, you need to know what kind of species you'd like to, your character to be. If you need help choosing a species, check out my last video for tips on choosing a species. Let's say you've chosen a wolf for your first character. Do some research on their features and on their anthropomorphic wolf bases. When you have done enough research and have enough examples, you can start sketching and lining. I'm at the moment not great at digital drawing since my drawing tablet is close to dying, so I mostly use bases for reference sheets. What are bases? Bases are already lined reference sheets made by other artists than you can use. Some are free to use and some you need to pay for. I will show some incredible bases you can use right now and I will link them down below as well. A simple Google on free furry base will do too. Make sure they are really free to use and again always credit the original artist for their work. If you found a reference or found a base, it's now time to design. That will be the next video where my friend Phoenix and I will give you tips and tricks on how to come up with a design for your fursona. It's very important to know that reference sheets are never shaded. That way the original colors can be seen clearly. Here's a tip of my friend Missy. She says, this is more personal, but I really find it helpful to have a little information on the characters I draw, so I can capture their personality better and make the art more interesting. So information like personality and such on reference sheets can be super helpful. My other great friend Wolf then had a great tip as well. She says, make sure you highlight any important markings that can be easily be missed, like Eclipse her moon marking on her head. You can always commission a reference sheet of your character as well. Just make sure that you have an idea, mood board, species and everything written down or drawn down. A smart mouse once told me that before you commission someone for a reference sheet, it's nice for them and for you to see your idea. 
So even if you're an amazing artist or not at all, draw your idea out on a free base and show them your idea so they know what to include. That was it for today's video. This was a short one. I hope it was still helpful. In the next episode, I will be talking about design. So stay tuned for more information about how to make a persona. Don't forget to boop the like button and to subscribe to my channel. And as always, keep on shining. Bye. Hey guys, before you go, I have a Patreon now. So I wanted to thank my first ever Patreon, Nick. Thank you so much for supporting me. I will keep all the names uh, for the tiers on my YouTube channel. I have different kind of tiers from uh, $1 to $20. So make sure to check it out. It's in the link down below. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting me. And yeah, it means a lot to me. So the tiers for $3 and up, if I'm correct, will be in my YouTube videos uh, in the future. So in this video, Nick will be the first one and I will hopefully add more in the future. So thank you again and hopefully I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye!